27 tip of the week. USA Olympian and Janai Kerr back with CWPA tip of the week. Today we're going to be talking about goalie steals. Okay. You have to be extremely deceptive in your plan of coming out for a steal so the shooters or any good field players aren't aware of what you're planning, your plan of attack is. Again, so you're like an iceberg, 90% of everything that's going on is underwater. So my legs are going at about 90%, whether my hands are in the water, straight up, or in the water. The only difference is, is how I'm angling my hips. Okay, if I want to go forward without allowing the field players to notice, I'm tilting my hips back, ready to explode out. Okay, when it's time, it's not as much my arms as the power is coming from both my legs. Just like a swimmer explodes off the wall or even a starting block, I'm going to be using that same movement with the breaststroke kick. So from the side, underwater, you'll be able to look at how my hip angle changes from here to forward, ready to make that big, powerful breaststroke kick. I'm gonna add a push. In the dry land training, we did push-ups with one hand backwards and one hand forward. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. One hand is gonna push behind me while the other hand strikes out for a lunge. It's not even necessarily a swim stroke, and yet I'm gonna be able to cover about three, okay, to four meters of distance just by my preparation. So starting here, I'm gonna go back to my right hand first, lunging forward my left hand. Powerful uh, breaststroke kick propels my body forward. So even being about 10 feet away, in one move, I'm able to strike and steal the ball without taking a single stroke just by lunging forward. And that's your tip of the week.